Hey there. It's been a while. I am on spring break right now, and so I figured now would be the perfect time to make a video for you guys. As you can probably hear, um, I got a little something in my throat. I actually am recovering from a flu right now, and in a way, I'm, I'm lucky because, you know, I caught it during spring break, so hopefully I'm all healed up before the school year starts again. So, I've been really, really busy this past semester, and I guess I want to show you guys why. This video is for incoming freshmen um, at Detroit Mercy, a seven-year dense, and just for college students in general, so uh, please have a good watch through this video. Thanks. So, the first thing I'm going to start out with is my schedule. I'll show you my uh, last semester schedule and the schedule I'm operating on right now. So, here we go. This is last semester schedule, right here. It was 15 credits, so it's not too bad. I believe that's, uh, I think it's four courses. Six if you include labs. So, essentially my Monday, Wednesday, and Friday were terrible days. And Tuesday and Thursday were really easy days. I had nothing on Tuesday and Thursday. So, I would advise, don't do that. That type of schedule actually is not so great. Um, basically, what I noticed is on Tuesday and Thursday, since I only had one class, um, I, would, I would waste you know, the whole day. And Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'd be working my butt off. And it was really unbalanced, and overall, it was just exhausting. A very exhausting schedule. I didn't like it. I prefer to spread things a bit more evenly, so that's what I chose to do with this semester's schedule right over here. So... I believe this is five courses now, um, not including labs. And by the way, the labs are three hours each. So, I got three classes on Monday. I got two plus a three-hour lab on Tuesday. I got two on Wednesday. But basically, these late classes here, this ethics class is uh, two and a half hours. This chem lab is three hours. Addiction studies class is two and a half hours, and this bio lab is three hours. So, it's, it's a lot of work. Um, I was thinking last semester that I could handle 21, and no, 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 no way. It's, it's really hard, you should not underestimate 18 credits. It's a lot. So, um... As you could see though, I was able to spread it over um, each day better and I would highly advise for you to do the same. Um, oh, I'm going to show you now, um, for you freshmen, I'm going to show you where to go, how to navigate the site, because this is probably the most important part. Um, the site is kind of confusing, they switched things over to a new system. Uh, as of a few months ago now and I want to go over with you guys so here you go essentially what you're gonna do is you search up Titan Pass on Google just search it up uh, and then click on it you will arrive to this site I believe you have yeah you have to log in though so first you gotta create an account and log in and then you'll get to this page so that's Titan Pass from Google. And this is kind of your launch pad to every every other site that you need, really. Essentially, the most important uh, links are going to be right here in the self-service student section there. And right here as well. Especially the Office 365, that's your uh, school email. And Blackboard's almost like the equivalent to uh, Google Classroom, if you've ever used that. So, um, definitely, you gotta, you got to 
know this site very well. If there is one site, you must know it is this one for sure. Um, so, I think what's really important is, well, first of all, here's registration here. So, registration is pretty self-explanatory. I'd advise you guys to just experiment with that. And the student profile, this is really important. So you click on student profile, right? And it comes up with your profile. So I am not going to scroll up right now because that has some pretty sensitive personal information, so which I am not allowed to show you guys. But essentially, you're going to arrive to this site here. You got student profile. And, oh yeah, this is a breakdown of my 15 credits. And the most important thing right now is, on this left column, degree evaluation, right there. So you're going to go to that, click on degree evaluation in that left column, and you are going to press generate new evaluation. And click on your program and your appropriate semester and essentially what this does is it basically shows you um, what you need to complete uh, for as far as requirements go and prereqs all these type of things there's a lot so I'm gonna just show you that right now oh by the way also right at the top of the screen they have your transfer credit. So right here they got this is what I came in with essentially. Well, not really. This is as of last semester so I had a 3.82 GPA and they break it down into two GPAs. One is overall, one is science. Um, so I got 3.7 for science and my AP credit transfer, I only got 14. It's basically got everything that you need to take to complete the seven year dent program. And obviously, the yeses are the courses you have or are taking, and the noes are courses you have not taken yet. And there's different areas too, uh, which you have to fulfill. Most of these are pretty self-explanatory. Just read the blue um, if there's anything in there. And basically, this is this is going to be your best friend. So know it well. Really know this well.